What is crack lacking -like collectors? Click the tire here again today, and today I'm bringing you the Battle Arena deck, the Mega Blastoise version, and you're going to see it in action today. The other day I actually made a video on the review on the actual deck itself, so if you haven't checked that video out, you can go check that out if you wish. But today I'm going to put it up against two other decks and see how it goes. Let's see how much of a punch it packs. So if you want to see how this deck fares, stick around, and you're going to see that today. Alright guys, so in the background here you're going to see some test matching. Uh, I wanted to test the deck out before we start actually playing. So that's what's going to be in the background here while we, while we talk about some things. So I'm not going to show any of the cards off. You uh, probably have seen the cards already in reviews or my review. So we're going to just get straight into the match here and test this deck out. Now one of my fellow YouTubers and one of my subscribers, Cardboard Cravings, PM me and said he had the Mega Charizard version of this deck. Which is really good because I thought to myself, being that these two decks are sort of like rivals, they were released at the same time, and I thought to myself it would be a good idea to put these two decks together and see who comes out on top. Now I do have the advantage here, obviously, because I'm a water type and Charizard is a fire type, but after our first official match, I get Cardboard Cravings to bring a more competitive deck out, and yeah, so we're going to see how this deck fares against those two decks, the Blastoise deck against the Charizard deck and the other deck I was talking about of uh, Cardboard Cravings. So yeah guys, let's get right into this right now. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you enjoy the video, just drop a like guys if you wish. That's totally your choice. We'd really appreciate it. All right, so moving on to the, the matches here. All right guys, so we had a test match against Cardboard Cravings and now we're gonna be doing a full proper match. Now I know how the deck sort of works now, so I can sort of understand how to utilize it and stuff like that. So I never really go first when I win the, the heads or tails. So I like to sort of sit back and see what my, my opponent does first. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, sweet. I got nothing, <laughs> nothing good. I'm going to, yeah, so we're going to have to wait till he chooses his active Pokemon and then have to reshuffle my deck and hopefully I can get a good hand. All right, so we got a right hand here. Good. I got Blastoise off the bat there. So. I think I might keep Blastoise to later. I might build him up a bit, but we're going to send him Menifee here because I have used Menifee before and that Deep Sea Swirl is quite good if I need to, you know, get the cards I need to use uh, this deck. So I'm just going to chuck down some basics here. I'll get Execute out there too. Pretty useless that card is. And we're going to leave it there for the time being. And we'll see what my opponent's first card is. Cardboard Cravings, guys. Fellow YouTuber and a subscriber of mine on my YouTube channel. So it's really good to actually be involved with someone from the community. I really hope you guys uh, get involved as well. If you want to in the future, now be on this game and we can play. And I can make new decks and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, we're going to get into this match now. We're going to get into the match. We've got uh, Fennekin here and we have the, my Menifee. So not much happening at the start here. So Ultra Ball comes in. Love that card. Quite competitive card, that one. Right, so he seems to have picked up the Charizard EX and it's in his hand now. So that's quite good, guys, because he's probably seen my Blastoise there. And it's good to know that we've got both our Star of the Show cards on the on the bench there. So I do have the advantage here. I really do, being the water type. But this thing can hit hard. I know it can. So we're going to have a quite an interesting match ahead. That's what i got here. Okay, so we've got Professor Sycamore. All right, so I can discard my hand if I wish. But I want to get that... um. Uh, water energy onto the Menifee so I can utilize that uh, deep sea swirl and we'll use that card later on so we're just going to leave it there for the time being so he's got two energies down the Charizard there so I might have to start <laughs> building up my uh, Blastoise alright so what do we got here we got rough seas so I'm going to chuck that down it can help me out All right, so we chuck in a water energy there for the Blastoise and I can evolve Octillery now and then I can use this uh, Professor Sycamore and I'll use that now, actually. What do we got here? More cards, which is good. Max Ether. So, all right, we're gonna use. We're not gonna do anything here. As I said, I don't really want to shuffle my hand back into my deck, so I do have some cards here I might want to use. So I will just leave it there for the time being. And as I said, guys, Manaphy is. Uh, it's not really an attacking Pokemon. It's really something you use to help out with a deck. And right now, too. Uh, I've just noticed he's put down another fire energy on the Charizard. So that's actually looking quite formidable at the moment. He needs one more to get that really high attack off. So I'm going to have to start pumping up the Blastoise here. 
And I don't know. Maybe no, I'll keep that because I might want to change his Charizard out later on. Um, we should probably just. Oh, I could. Nah. Yeah. All right. We'll chuck down Remora right here, and we'll end my turn there. I think. All right, guys. So he's all ready to go with the Charizard, and he's just used Lysander. So that's exactly what he wants. Which is something I would have done because there's very similar cards in my deck. As you can see down here, I have Lysander too. So I was planning on doing the exact same thing. So yeah, it's really interesting to see the two decks uh, next to each other. So we got Blastoise in. And I, I think what he wants to do is is for me to KO something so he can hit first. Uh, that is what I'd do, I guess. But I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to chuck in Lysander there. And we're going to bring in the Charizard. I'm then going to chuck on my Water Energy and Splash Bomb it. Threat's gone, guys. I don't take any energy from the, um, the, the effect of the move. Get two prize cards for that. And that's really good. Now, as I said, guys, that was a very unfair matchup, I guess, because Blastoise is, you know, it is the Water type. And I have to give credit to Cardboard Craving today for giving me this match, because I really like that I could face the Mega Charizard deck because I really think, you know, because they were both released at the same time, I really like the matchups today. It really is a good matchup. Even though I do have the advantage, I won't uh, <laughs> deny that, guys, but yeah. Alright, so he's got he just evolved his uh, Fennekin there. Now, I am a massive threat at the moment. I've got Blastoise out and I haven't taken any damage from myself or other Pokemon yet, so I have full health. Well, until then, I've got 20. And we can start just Splash bombing away, really. So I'm gonna put Piplup, Piplup down. Put Pliplup, Pliplup. I can't even say it properly too many times. Uh, we'll check a water energy on that little fella there. Because, you know. As I said, guys, I'm sitting pretty steady now. I can really do whatever. So I'm just gonna, you know, splash bomb this guy. I believe that's a Skarmory that might be coming in next. So I do take the damage there from the, the um, effect from my move. I didn't put the heads. And in comes Skarmory, so I've got three more prize cards left. Oh, so he's got two other bench Pokemon to help himself out there. But honestly, I don't think it's going to really help too much, unless he's got something else up his sleeve. But, um, you know, as I said, I've got my massive threat with Blastoise there on the, on the field. And I can sort of uh, evolve my other Pokemon in the time. I've got Empoleon here, so I could probably put that down next turn. But we're just going to go with the attack again. It probably might take damage again. And we're all good. We get the heads. So that's good. Two cards left. Gr get grass energy. Grass energy. We can use that later on. I don't really need it. I, I, I think I might change the grass thing. Grass, uh, you know, in this deck. I don't like the grass aspect of it. Might chuck something else in. But um, we should be pretty good. We've got Ted Pig up. I've got Blastoise sitting pretty there, guys. Right, so what are we looking at here? So, as I said, Empoleon's coming onto the field. I'll chuck a water energy on him as well. And just chuck N out. Just because I, I just feel like having a different hand, I guess. And yeah, we'll just go with that. Don't really care about that much. Just want to see what we get in this hand. And we have... Okay, cool. Awesome. Ooh, good. Lucky. Didn't take any damage from my own attack, so that's good. Got another Empolo in my hand here, so that's alright. So yeah guys, I'm really enjoying the deck. Actually, uh, in the review, I didn't think it was that competitive, but it's not too bad. But as I said, I'm a I am facing an um, opponent that does have the disadvantage. So I can't really say much about it until I face other Pokemon uh, decks that are, you know, give me a hard time. So, alright, so he's paralyzed me by the looks of it. So I've got a Floatstone here. I'll chuck the Floatstone onto the Blastoise here. Alright, what do you got here? So I'll chuck another water energy down. I don't really need any more for Empoleon in there, so give it to Octillery, I guess. And we'll end my turn there. Alright, so he gets another energy down, the dark energy, onto Zora there. I'm not sure what he's planning on doing, but um, I don't know. He might be in a bit of a rut. But he attacks me at least, so he gets a tackle, so that's good. Got a grass energy here, I might plonk that onto um, ex um, execute. And I think we would just finish this, I guess. Mm. Yeah, might as well just finish it, uh, get the game over and done with. That is GG, guys. Take 
damage there. And good game to Cardboard Cravings. That's really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, Cardboard Cravings up and see if he's got another deck we can play this uh, deck against. Something different. Something I don't have the advantage of. And we can test out the deck against another deck. Alright guys, so we're going to get into this right now. And face another deck of Cardboard Cravings. As I said before, he was at the disadvantage. So it'll be interesting to see what he brings to the table now. Alright, so it looks like he's got another fire type deck running here. So, Alright, so I won the Toying Cost again. So, as I said, I always go last because I like to see what my, what my opponent brings to the table. I've got Blastos in my hand straight off the bat. So, that's awesome. That's really good. I was expecting him to use something different, like uh, possibly a Leaf, uh, like a gr uh, Grass deck or something. But, we'll see how this deck runs. You know, I said to use something more competitive. So, we'll see what he has. Alright, so we'll put Priplop. Prip, I couldn't say it properly. Piplop. <laughs> Piplop down on the, on, the, on the bench there. And we'll, yeah, we'll just go for gold. I can't even say Piplop's name properly unless I do it from, like, the anime. It's really weird. Alright, so he's got a camera up out. So that's interesting. That really is. So I've got Blastoise out. He's got a camera up. So, as I said, I don't know. As I said, I, I'm not judging his choice here. But I would have thought it'd be he'd bring something a bit different to the table. Being it, he's a fire type. But I don't know. We'll see what, as I said before, we'll see what he's got. There we go. He's got a Spirit Link. He's going to bring the Mega out. He puts a uh, Fire Energy down. So yeah, we, we might see something interesting here. So, alright, so it's back to my turn. I'm going to go straight for the, the water energy here, the special one. Because that actually revives the Blastoise. Uh, what else can we use here? We can use... Oh, okay. We'll use that straight away so I can get my Mega out too. So, I don't know if I have it in my hand. It might be in my prize cards. Just the luck. Oh no, here it is. Can I even do that? Oh, uh, I, I screwed up. I screwed up. It was, it, it's not a basic. Uh, I should have really read that a lot better. But anyway... Um, yeah, well, let's, <laughs> let's take what I can, I guess. So, yeah, guys, I made a mistake there. So, that's interesting. Well, uh, we'll bring out all these uh, basics then. Because I do need some more bench Pokemon anyway. Alright. What we can do now is, I can... I could use my Verse Seeker, but we're going to leave it for, for the time being, I think. I can't believe I made that mistake. That's just, that's really, yeah, it wasn't really professional of me to do so. But anyway, we're going to go with it. He's got two fire energies down now, so that thing can attack. Ooh. Does 30 damage. Alright, that's not good for me. So I've already, I'm already taking damage already. So um, I'm going to chuck on another water energy here. I might want to I might want to bring my Blastoise off the, um, out of here. I'm going to use Rapid Spin. Does 60, so that's good. So I'm going to bring in uh, Menifee. And Blastoise is safe on the bench. Right, so what does he put down there? He's got Entei. A really beautiful art of Entei there. Uh, what does that actually do? we got Flame Screen and Heat Tackle. So yeah, this deck is basically a lot of fire types. So it be interesting if he can pull a win off. I'll be quite impressed if he can. Because he does have the disadvantage again. So... Alright, so he's Mega Evolved. The Kamen Rupp there. And that... Oh, jeez. Magma Eruption. Wow, okay. So that can hit very hard. So that's a really good card to come out... Uh, early early game there it really is really good all right so i'm gonna keep my as i said i'm gonna keep my blastoise on the on the bench here i'm gonna boost up its splash bomb and he can take out some basics until i need it to come out all right guys so i'm gonna leave it there so i can't do much i haven't got any energies in my hand at the moment all right so he's gone through a, another <laughs> another um energy here so okay wow so that does a ton of damage all right right now i'm gonna just stall a bit because i don't really want my Blastoise out just right now. So we're just gonna bring out some more basics, take some hits until I can, here we go, until I can get that, get rid of it and what. Right, so I've got my Splash Bomb up and I'm ready to hit hard. So I wanna, right, so I'm gonna wait for this uh, Piplup to faint. Unfortunately, Pip, poor little Piplup has to faint and then I'll bring my Blastoise out and then hit it hard there. So we're just gonna leave it there for the time being. And so Blastoise is gonna come out and smash the, the Mega Camera up and hopefully bring it down. And he doesn't look like he's got any energies on these other two bench Pokemon yet. So, I, yeah, I might just sit, sit tight here and see what happens. And Piplup gets absolutely annihilated there. The poor little penguin. He's, he's got uh, roasted, roasted for... Alright, so Blastoise, you can come out. Blastoise, boom. Okay, I want to get rid of this threat right here. I'm pretty sure I can pull this off. Um, we're going to go straight for the Splash Bomb. I'm not going to worry about any other 
cards I have. I just want to get rid of this thing. There we go. And I take damage, unfortunately. So that's 60. And I get two prize cards for that. So I'm hoping that I might have something to use this, uh, from the prize cards. But I got a super rod and I got another energy. So nothing that spectacular at the moment. My guess is he's going to come straight in. Yep, with the um, Sharpedo, I would do the same. Given that uh, I could totally smash Entei there. Right, so he's chucked down an energy and he's mega evolved his Sharpedo into Mega Sharpedo EX. So that is quite interesting. Uh, <laughs> a lot of mega uh, evolutions in this deck of his. So, well, only two I've found so far, but still interesting. All right, so let me think for a second here. I could bring Entei out here, so I think I might do that. And we're going to bring Entei into the, fit, into the, the arena. And I'm going to hit it and get another... KO here. And I take more damage, so that's not good, guys. I'm on 90 now, but we get another prize card, so that's good. Got Octillery, but I've got no Remore to use it, so. Alright. Sharpedo's back out in the field. He's got to, he's got to build up that attack yet, so. How much HP does that thing have? 210, Jesus. Alright, so I don't know if I can do enough damage. I could probably two hit KO it. What have I got? So that's 200, yeah, I could two hit KO, but I don't think I'm going to be around long enough, depending on what energies he has in his hand. So let me think about this one second. Um, should, I, should I discard my hand? Maybe. Hopefully get that Mega. And we do, we get the Mega Blastoise and we get Rough Seas as well. So that's really, really good. That's really good. All right, so we're going to Mega Evolve this guy. Right, so I can't do much in that turn, but I do have more HP to deal with, so... I don't know, maybe he's going to KO me, who knows, I don't know. We'll have to see, soon find out. Alright, so he's got three up now, and things aren't looking good for me. Alright, so... Mega Blast always takes that like a boss. I haven't got... I've only got 10 HP left, right? And we're going to see how this works. Alright, so, what else? I'll put Lapras up, because it could probably help me out. Uh... And I'll put another, and, and I'll put an energy onto Lapras there. And that is doing damage to uh, the bench Pokemon as well. So that's really good. Really, really good. Lots of GXs and EXs in this deck of his. Very, very high um, attacking output. Very aggressive deck, I guess. Very, like, you know, aggressive. Right, so Blast always goes down. And Lapras, you can come out. Because I know Lapras is it's not a bad Pokemon to use, but I get both my um, Blastoise back from that special energy. So that's really, really good. It really, So I can sort of just put Blastoise back out in the field here. Right, so we're going to look for two basic energies. I really do need them. So I'm going to take two Waters and put them into my hand. So they're going straight on Blastoise when I get the chance. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll even put them onto Lapras yet, but I don't know. We're going to leave it there for the time being. Right, so it's got another Camerupt out on the field he's got another Sharpedo so yeah as I said guys as I said before this is quite uh it's a very offensive deck it's really get the best card you can out into the field and um attack and as I said Lapras goes down so he's got two he's got one more prize card left guys one more I don't know what I can really do he's he's gonna win this match I think which is good it's good to actually lose uh with his deck too so it sort of shows me that it, you know, what its weaknesses are and stuff like that. I can evolve, Mega Evolve it, and that might keep me alive for a while, I guess. And that ends my turn, so... Delaying the inevitable here, I think, because I feel like I will be KO'd. Uh, by the time I get two energies out, I'll probably be, be dead anyway, so... I think he might have the good game here, so... We just have to wait and see, guys. As always, you never know what could happen in the card game. Ooh, Blacksmith. I'm quite familiar with that, uh, that card there, Blacksmith. So we're going to put some, yep, straight on to uh, Entei there, which is quite, yeah, that Entei card is really epic. I really like that one. All right, so we take that like a boss. Um, I think he might have this in the bag. But anyway, as all good sportsmen do, we keep fighting till he ends. And that's a uh, good game for uh, Cardboard Craving. Good match, my friend. So I lost that one. All right, so we've got one win, one loss out of those two matches. Some really interesting decks were brought to the table here. Was really glad to face that Mega Charizard one and Cardboard Craving's custom deck with those EXs and GXs. Really aggressive deck. Really enjoyed playing it. 
And yeah, so if you guys want to be involved with anything like this in the future, let me know in the comments below. If you want to have a chance of kicking my ass, or maybe I can beat yours around the table too, I'd be happy to accept you guys and play you guys with decks I make in the future. Alright, so we're going to leave it there. This video is getting into 20 minutes, and that's way too long in my opinion. And yeah, for you collectors out there, keep on collecting, or keep on gaming, whatever you want to do. And I will see you on the next one. Alright, collector tyrant out.